Hi, this is Chen Xuetang from Twitter. Today, I want to talk about the hybrid cloud SQL federation system at Twitter, which contains stories for high scalability and availability. First of all, I would like to give you folks a quick overview of the SQL system at Twitter. For now, we have more than 10 SQL clusters built across both private and public cloud. For the private cloud, it refers to Twitter's data centers. And for the public cloud, with the current partly clouded strategy at Twitter, we are migrating analytical workload to the Google Cloud platform. And for now, daily, there is around 20 gigabytes of data scanned by the SQL system. And we have more than 3,000 compute workers for the SQL system. And the SQL system has processed more than 10 million queries. During the migration of the workload to the GCP, as well as our operational experience of the SQL system at Twitter, we find that there are a few challenges to build a modern SQL system. First of all, querying heterogeneous data sources in the application layer. We find that usually customers would like to query different data sources. For example, some data engineers at Twitter would like to query some data sets from MySQL. Well, on the other side, some data scientists would like to query data stored in HDFS. So in that case, we'll need to provide a unified query interface for all customers to let them not to like directly query different data sources and remember the access, different access to these data sources. Another challenge we observed is the horizontally scaling in the computation layer. In the recent few years, we witnessed that there, uh, the number of queries processed in Twitter is growing gra gradually. So we'll need more and more machines to serve these queries. But moreover, as we are migrating the workload to part of the workload to the GCP, so we are building a hybrid cloud SQL federation system. In that case, we'll need kind of horizontal scaling approach in the computation layer to serve more and more queries. And the last challenge we ob observed is the heterogeneous storage systems in the storage layer. At Twitter, we have both HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, and Google Cloud Storage, GCS, to store the large scale of datasets. In that case, we need to provide a unified interface to these storage systems for customers and even for the SQL engines. To overcome these challenges at Twitter, we have built different layers to overcome it. So we put it into three different layers and with different types of federation to overcome the challenges. The layers are application layer, compute layer, and storage layer. In the application layer, we implemented query federation, where we provide SQL and programming API as the query interface for customers. In the computational layer, even though the clusters may be on-premises or maybe in the cloud, we build a cluster federation system that we provide a router as the cluster interface to customers. So in that case, we don't need to worry much about whether it's, it is in the cloud or it is in uh, the Twitter's data center for the, for the SQL system. And the router will forward different requests to different clusters based on the data set to access. And then the next layer is the storage layer because some data is stored on premises and some data is stored in the cloud. So we provide a unified view implemented with a Twitter's view file system. In that case, we can provide a unified view at the storage interface to the computation layer. So the SQL engine can just query it with a unique URL to the dataset. During the implementation and the
the maintenance of such large scale SQL system. There are some lessons that we have learned that we also would like to uh, share with the whole community. For example, we find that system monitoring and logging in a hybrid cloud environment are vital. We find that it's, it's extremely useful if there are some monitoring and logging mechanism in the development or during the maintenance that can help us to drill down to the specific uh, positions for some bugs or we, uh, we found, for example. The second lesson is the on-premises capacity planning experience cannot be directly transferred to a hybrid cloud environment. For example, uh, there is a use case at Twitter that's across around like 50 machines uh, in the Twitter's data center on premises. But we find that we cannot directly apply this number to the Google Cloud, even though both Twitter's data center and Google Cloud are providing very similar hardware configuration and hardware resources. That we need to do some more prototypes to collect better estimate for capacity planning in the cloud. The last lesson we have learned is SQL is still one of the most widely used languages in data analytics. That's also one of the major reasons why we provide SQL as a unified query interface for customers. And that's all about what I want to talk about today. So thank you.